Hello everyone, and this is Jeff. In this this um, exercise, we are going to learn about Team Foundation Server. So it is going to be the source code repository that we use in this class. Um, one may ask me, why are we going to use the source code repository? Well, one of the things is in the book, you learn how to um, program with an Android Studios. Um, well, well, you, you're learning how to um, program a, a mobile app with an Android Studio. But one of the key features is when saving your source code. It's not always the best practice to save your com um, source code to your computer, and that's it. Um, maybe some of you learn to make copies of it on your flash drive or your external drive or whatever the case is. But best practices when learning how to program is using a source code repository. There are many different repositories out there, but this class we're going to use TFS. It's one of the more popular ones. Um, there's Git, which is very popular, but the way that TFS is built, they've built it so that all um, programming languages are allowed to use it. Um, so they make it easy for all the other languages to sync up with it. So what I'm going to do in this demonstration, I've created screenshots of things I've already did. And I want to show you how to install TFS on your computer, how to get it uh, set up, and so forth. So we're going to walk through. And this document will be posted out on the Blackboard as well in week three. Um, I don't have all the environments set up properly yet. Um, currently, eventually, you'll all get an email, and you'll have you'll have each group will have their own environment, and you'll have a username and password that you'll use to log into that environment. All right. So first things first. Um, this right here has the table of contents. All right. So introduction. Team Foundation Server (TFS) is more uh, more than a source code repository. It allows a project to be controlled um, in the same environment as the source code exists. Um, this document, documentation below is screenshots of step-by-step -step instructions. Basically what that means is what we will learn is, as you notice in the uh, previous se sections I did, um, uh, the different life cycles such as uh, Agile and Waterfall, those will be one of the life cycles that we follow within TFS. We'll be able to go in there and add tasks, tasks of each individual in a group that he or she is supposed to do. You'll be able to monitor the tasks. You'll be able to go through and create um, what projects are being uh, or, or tasks are being completed. You'll be able to add hours and so forth. And then you'll be able to view the source code and so forth. So there's a lot of things that you could do with it. All right, so getting started. Um, this right here demo is geared toward Apple, but it's the same thing for Microsoft. So in this area, um, whether you're using Microsoft or Apple, you're going to click on Android Studio at the top. Go down and select Preferences. No matter what, whatever selection you're using, whether you're using Apple, uh, whatever, you're going to get, make this a little bit bigger. What you're going to see here is you're going to see this option here. And you want to do a TFS search. Um, Team Foundation Server, you're going to select that and you're going to select the green area where it says install plugin. Um, once that's um, done, you'll get a, a message here that says download and install. You want to click yes. This will take a few minutes depending on uh, the speed of your computer. Uh, once the um, installation is completed, you're going to again restart. Um, I, uh, boy, I can't talk today. I apologize. I'm sick. You're going to uh, uh, restart Android Studio. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So, um, so now in this step, once you get to this step, that means that you've already installed the plugin and you're ready to configure it. So once you get to the beginning of Android Studio, one of the things that you see here is, let, let me pull up Android Studio and show you what I mean. All right, so we pull up Android Studio. It's coming up here. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so when you pull up Android Studio originally is uh, you'll get this option here where uh, uh, it's out of here. you get these different options. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check out project from version control. So once you select that, you'll see all these different options and you're going to choose uh, Team Foundation Server. All right, you will get this area right here, check out Team Foundation Project. You're going to click on Servers button. And then you're going to come to this um, area right here. You're going to input whatever um, URL I send you. So. Yours will be similar to this. It'll be like uh, it'll be CCAC CIT 135 um, maybe uh, group one, group two, something like that. Visual Studio.com. 
I'll provide the information to you. You'll input that and click OK. Now we're to the next part where you want to select the TFS below. You'll select that selection right there. And you see these little pluses and minuses? That's if you want to add additional um, uh, URL. So say you had multiple repositories, you could just go down here and click the plus and add that additional repository. All right, so the next thing you're going to do is you're actually going to go out to the Visual Studios website. So you're going to go out to visualstudios.com, you're going to go to the repository, um, you're going to log in, and you're going to select my profile. So for example, if I went out to that area, um, it's going to be kind of hard for you to see, is there's an area, once you log out, like I'm going, this is my URL, once I go out there and I click on it, you have this selection for my profile. So now you'll have that selection for your profile and you'll click on the profile. On the left hand side, you'll see the alternate authentication credentials. What you need to do is over to the right here, you need to just add, say mine's Jeffrey Seaman, so I put Jeffrey Seaman 12 enter the password in. It just needs an alternate um, your, uh, uh, authentication for it to work. Save that information, then go back over to um, uh, Android Studios, and once you've got to this step right here, and you click Next, you will come over to this step here. So it's going to ask you to enter your username and password to connect. So basically, what we did previously, we went into uh, um, into TFS and we uh, made uh, um, we uh, allowed the third party which is uh, this application this plugin to again connect to the TFS environment so you're going to enter your username and password here and click save password and click OK alright so next what you're going to do here is you're going to get this team foundation collections um, if you set it up differently uh, more likely it's going to say default um, collection but over to the right is going to be, this is a very important part. We haven't talked about this yet, and I'll show you in, in another video this week, is how to use TFS. Um, but once you're in TFS, there's an area that you'll set up a project. So for example, in this one, um, my first project is the first one that's automatically set up. But say you have something specific, and it's a project that you're working on, uh, maybe called Project um, X, uh, A, B, C, D, I don't know, something like that. You'll create that within TFS, the, the um, actual web URL website. And then when you create it, you'll select which project you want to um, connect, which projects that you want to connect to. So in this case, I select both of them because I want them affiliated with my uh, uh, application. Then you'll click Next. And you'll highlight your uh, area and click Next. And finish. That's it. So here's what we did so far. We installed TFS. The plugin, and now we've uh, communicated. We got the, our Android Studio now talking to our uh, uh, Visual Studios online, which is in the cloud. So the next set part is the project setup. So the initial project setup. What this basically means is when you initially set up your code, your project, you need to now take your source code and put it out in that environment. Because right now it's blank. There's nothing out there. So when you have a, uh, a project built in TFS, you need to add the source code. So in this example here, um, I, as you see, I clicked on the VCS at the top, clicked on import into version control and do share to TFS. Select the entire project and hit next. So you'll choose this whole entire project, click next. And then once again, in this area, you're going to select specific project that you want to push that code to. So my project's called Android. So I'm pushing my code over to Android and I'm going to click next. And then you're going to get to the next one. You want to share it. You're going to have Android. So I'm going to do it. This is the highest level. This build process templates, nothing to be concerned about. Um, later on, we'll talk about that. So right now, I'm just going to choose Android, my project. Click Next. This right here is the server path. And then click Finish. Now I'm done. The last step is checking your code in. So now you have your code over there. If you follow these steps by clicking right on the application, uh, you'll select team and go online. Make sure it's online. And then once you click on check in, your files will be checked into the repository. Uh, basically what that means is your files will be available. So for example, if I go over to, um, let's see if I can pull up my code. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so I choose Android. 
and I go to code and I go to chain sets actually let me go back explore as you see here my text view so that's the code I added so now if I go to chain sets that basically gives me a whole map of when I check stuff in so this would be the last time I check something in so if I click on chain set 30 it'll show me if you look here it shows the previous version was I love this string the next one is I love this I love this even more this right here will show you the source code that was checked in. Shows you stuff that um, was changed and so forth. If I go back to code and I go into my text view app, source, main, um, res, geez, keep going back, layout, give me main, etc. You could go all the way down and drill into your code and you can actually look at your code in here as well. So this right here is very useful. This allows us, what's useful for the project is it allows us to, um, when we're building a project with everyone in the team, we're able to bring in our code and everyone's able to do their tasks and so forth, and we're able to evaluate it from there. So this is basic instructions on how to set up TFS. I uh, will have videos on um, how to get other things going within TFS. I'll show you how to use TFS, um, but in week three, we are going to start using TFS in some of our uh, individual and projects that we do together. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, email me, text me, call me, and you could also uh, post on a discussion board for problems that you're having. All right, have a great day.